Good morning, Kelly Yellow Jackets. We're your WCSS News Anchors. I'm Barar. And I'm Malachi. Today is Thursday, February 23rd, 2012. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Today's lunch menu choices are choice of one, turkey and gravy with roll or cheese pizza. Choice of two, mashed potatoes, green beans, or assorted fruit. Salad choice, taco. Remember that your pledge money for the booster time is due tomorrow. Collect that pledge money. Come to the Stomping Out Type 2 Diabetes on the 25th at Tom Brown Park and support your teachers in the kickball tournament at 10 a.m. and 10.20. Any student that comes to the kickball tournament will receive an extra 15 minutes of, fee of PE. The teachers competing are Coach Adams, Coach Foley, Mr. Glenn, Mr. Griffin, Ms. Posner, Ms. Urban, Ms. Williams, Ms. Morris, Ms. Matulia, Ms. Cole, Ms. Shepard, Ms. Danielle, Ms. Culligan, Mr. Cristiano, Ms. Brooks, and Dr. Meal. Registration begins at 7 a.m. with a 5K run at 8.30, the 10K bike ride and celebrity fitness challenge at 9 a.m., 1K front run and fishing derby is at 10 a.m., and the Warner Soccer Agility Course and at 10.15 a.m., followed by the Dog Agility and Frisbee Expo at 10.30. Come join college teachers in the fun and stomp, stomp out, out diabetes. And now with the WCSS Daily Weather Report, here's Austin. Thanks, guys. I'm Austin. Today it is 68 degrees with a high of 78 and a low of 66. The clouds will go away and temperatures will be warming. There's a 60% chance of rain. There are also wind advisories. That's all for today. Now back to our anchors. Now, let's take it to Sports Up to Speed with Taylor and Mark. Welcome to today's edition of Sports Up to Speed. I'm Taylor. And I'm Mark. The Lakers beat the Mavericks. The score was 96-91. That was a surprise. I thought that the Mavericks were going to beat the Lakers, but I guess I was wrong. So that proves the Lakers are a better team than the Mavericks, which is a question a lot of people had. In college basketball, number two Syracuse beat South Florida. The score was 56-48. I can't believe that Syracuse is still on Kentucky's tail because Syracuse is still 21-8 and and they are still number two. I just can't wait for Syracuse to lose another one or two games so they are not number two because I want new, a new team to go after Kentucky. It doesn't look like Kentucky is going to lose anytime soon, so I don't see the point. That's all for today's edition of Sports Up to Speed. Let's take it back to the studio with Barar and Malachi. And now, for this day in history. On this day in history, February 23rd, 1836, a famous battle was fought at the Alamo. A huge Mexican army of several thousand soldiers led by General Santa Ana defeated a group of less than 200 defenders who were fighting to see if Texas would belong to Mexico or to the United States. Davy Crockett from Tennessee and Jim Bowie, famous for inventing the Bowie knife, were among the Americans who fought and died at the Alamo. When word got out about what happened, a new army of Texans got together and they tracked down Santa Ana and defeated him. Their battle cry was, Remember the Alamo. On this day in history, 1896, a famous candy was born. 
Can you guess what it was? I'll give you a hint. It had no role in the fighting at the Alamo. No role. Give up. It was the Tootsie Roll, and it was made by a man named Leo Hirschfield, who bought the recipe for that chewy, chocolatey creation with him when he came to the United States from Austria. But how do you suppose he came up with the name Tootsie Roll? Well, it's because his five-year-old daughter was nicknamed Tootsie. It's that simple. Hey, maybe you can get your parents to create a famous candy bar and name it after you. Let's take it to today's math question with Bailey and Emily. Thanks, guys. I'm Emily. And I'm, <coughs> and I'm Bailey. Today's math problem is for 3rd through 5th grade. The question is... There are four boys and eight girls. Each boy has six balloons and each girl has nine balloons. How many balloons are there in all? Remember to write neatly. That's all for today. Now back to our anchors. That's all for today, Colony Old Jackets. Mama tomorrow. Make the most of every minute. And we'll see you tomorrow.